The beginning always fascinates me. The beginning of the expansion of the never-ending universe. The beginning of a journey. But more specifically, the beginning of an event that has captivated the hearts of Glendora High. Action. Recently, this has been on my mind. I'm awed by the spirit that is unleashed through action, the students' eagerness to compete for the championship title, and the contagious energy of the school. Action to me is mind-blowing. Action to me is big hype. Action to me is epic. Action to me is awesome and true. Action to me is loud. Action to me is insane. Action to me is fun. It's a competition. Action to me is wild. Action to me is exciting. Action to me is thrilling. Action to me is unity. Sick. Loud. It's fun. Action to me is exhilarating. Action to me is chaotic. Loud. Intense. Loud. Chaotic. chaotic. This is the best event of the year. Good. Action is exciting. The best. Lump patience. Extreme. Escape. Action to me is chaos. Action pack. Action is wow. But how did this school event start? Were students always this competitive and stoked? How has the action culture changed? And what should be the ultimate purpose of this event? My first instinct to find answers to some of my questions was to visit Ms. Ensman, the former director of activities. Hi, how are you? Going into her office, I was nervous since I didn't even know where to start asking my questions. We spent majority of the time looking at old photos as she explained her years directing action. That's cool. Um, well, it's that's, just, that's you right there. Yeah, <laughs> when I had really blonde hair. Yeah. <laughs> Action was first started in 1976 in the Glendora Middle Schools by a teacher named Chuck Hyatt. Then it was brought to the high school in 1981. There were a couple problems with Action that were fixed along the way. One, the shirt color white had to be changed to yellow due to racist remarks made. The events changed mainly due to safety reasons. One time when we had the rope up top and when you do the rope climb and then you slide back down and we had a student really injure his, his hands because he came down too quickly. The staff has increased to help with safety while the energy of the room has continued to grow. It's been a great experience. It's a, the, the moment that I'm most proud of is other schools are doing action mm -hmm. because of Glendora High. Right. And that, I think, is a testimony to the spirit of this school, which I've always, always enjoyed. I, I almost bleed plaid when I was activities director, so. Furthermore, because some of the administration had firsthand experience in the original action, I had to go talk to them. Just start off introducing yourself. I'm Mr. Spangler, I'm an English teacher here at Glendora High School. I'm Mr. Lopez, and I'm the principal here at Glendora High School. I'm Rod Tilton, I'm the Dean and Athletic Director at Glendora High School. So, how does the original action compare to today's? Uh, very different. The original action started in uh, 1976 at Sandberg Junior High School at that time. And it was, the, the teams were divided up in colors, but they were by alphabet. So it was not a class competition at that time. Everybody was divided up alphabetically. Mm -hmm. And then prior to action for about two weeks, there was all kinds of different competitions. There was a chess, I think they did a chess tournament. There was a cooking competition. I think they had model building. There were all kinds of different things. Some of them related to what was going on in the class at the time. I think they had even like, I know we had a photography class. So there was a competition for photography. So they really kind of incorporated some of the curriculum and some of the stuff we did in class into the competition that was awarded for the action points. And then there were just four teams that were color coded, but it was all grade levels. So you had seventh, eighth, and ninth graders on, on one team. What are the, some of the events that you participated in? I don't remember in middle school, but I do remember in high school, uh, for sure one year I did the obstacle course. 
uh, which we no longer have. Um, you'd go over a pommel horse, like a gymnastics pommel horse, right? Um, through a tunnel, uh, through some tires. Um, it, it, was, it was different. It was all around. You had to like make two laps, I think, even around the gym. So it was fun. So you said you it was your eighth grade year when action happened? Yes, eighth grade. How, how did it feel like being in that room when action started? You know, it was a lot of fun. It, it, it wasn't as electric as it is now, um, but it was a lot of fun with your with um, your classmates and the other students at the school um, competing against each other. Um, it, it was a lot of fun, but it, it was different. And I remember I, one event that I can remember I did was uh, the um, eraser relay. So there, the events were much different, but he always was thinking outside of the box of what we could do and all the other um, competitions that would let up during that week and um, with the cooking and different things like that that were happening on campus. And what it, are, it was campus inclusive, okay. so. And what are some of the things that you missed from the old action? I think there's positives and negatives. I think the action night is a great night if people remember that it is just a fun competition and some people take it too far. It shouldn't be a time for you know, throwing eggs or doing anything to people. It should be a time where people can have, a, have fun competing against each other, be good sports, and when that happens, it's the best night ever, without a doubt. All the administrators echoed the same simple sentiment. They found the events well worth it back then, and even more worth it now, as long as the students are safe. It is times like these that we are able to remember the details. Next, I decided to call Chuck Hyatt, the one who started it all to get the event from his perspective. Hi, I'm Henry, a current senior at Glendora High. I'm just like making a documentary about how action started. I was wondering if I could uh, ask you a few questions. Well, of course. Awesome. So what is your favorite memory of action? You know, you, you know the most, <laughs> the thing we never realized that would happen did happen with chess. This video is dedicated to Miss Ensman, who is retiring, and we thank her for 25 years of service as the activities director. Also, Chuck Hyatt is coming all the way from Colorado to beat our 2019 action event. We hope you guys have a safe and marvelous action. <laughs>